Hey everyone, so I need to apologize to the Philadelphia Flyers because m much earlier in this season when I first started counting teams out Philly was one of the first teams that I threw to the threw off the cliff and said that they were all done. Um, turns out I was right about most of the teams I said that about. Obviously Arizona and Buffalo are terrible. Um, Montreal has had an abysmal season and the Rangers I counted out then they kind of came back a little bit I recanted on on uh, thro like counting them out I should not have done that because then they collapsed again and now they're in a rebuilding phase so those four teams I said were junk then they were junk and still are but Philly when they went on their 10 game losing streak I thought they were done and I counted them out. I wanted them to blow the team up. I wanted Hackstall gone as the coach. Um, I really just gave up on them completely. And then what did they do? They just completely turned their season around. Um, have made it now so that they're pretty much a lock to make the playoffs. Um, and really have come back from that 10 game losing streak um, very very strongly and they look good going into the playoffs um, I real what helped one thing that helped them out a lot is during that 10 game losing streak a number of those games were, were overtime losses so they still got a point out of it and that that's huge with the way that the point system works in the NHL now Overtime losses are huge. If you can sneak out a point and not lose in regulation and still get something out of the night, even if you don't win, it is massive. It's a massive help for your chances of making the playoffs. So Philly did that. They lost a lot of games in overtime. They still got a point out of it. And now that they've started winning, those points have really added up. And they've they've been really really good the second half of the season they're on a three game losing streak now but I'm I'm not too worried about them I think they can turn it around um, I'm just amazed at what they've done this is really since I have counted them out one of the one of the last videos I did before going away in December was about the Flyers 10 game losing streak and I really I just laid into them and was like this, they're done this season's over um, they didn't fire Dave Haxtell. They stuck with him, and which turns it looks like now to be a very good move. Uh, they didn't make any panic roster moves, which now looks like a really good move. And uh, they just they stuck with it with the group that they had, and they thought that they would pull themselves out of it, and that's exactly what they did. And now it looks like they're going to be in the playoffs, uh, and maybe even win a playoff round. Um, Guys have had really, really good years for them. Um, Claude Giroux's been fantastic this year. Sean Couturier's having a career year. Jake Voracek's been fantastic. Um, you know, really, a lot of all the players that they need to have to that they needed to have a good year have had that good year. Except for Wayne Simmons. Wayne Simmons has not been that great this year. He's had injury trouble, and he hasn't put up the numbers that he usually does. But it's been okay because people around him have been really, really good. So they could overcome that one player not having a great season. Uh, their defense has really, really surprised me. Um, Goss Fair has, he came into the league as a purely offensive defenseman, but he's cleaned up his game in his own end a lot. Um, Robert Haig, rookie defenseman, has been really, really good. Played a lot better than I expected him to. Uh, Provorov's been fantastic. He's the he's the future of that team on defense. Um, Andrew McDonald has been really good. There was a time there where it looked like McDonald was might end up in the AHL and probably bought out. And now he's completely turned his season around and his career around. And he's been really solid this year. Um, and the, the bottom pair of Gudis and Manning have been very, very solid. Uh, you're not going to get a ton of offense from that pair, 
Um, they're not great puck movers or skaters or anything, but they're physical, they're stay-at-home defensemen, and they do the job in their own end. And that's perfect for your 5-6 your pair on defense. So this team has really blown my expectations out of the water and certainly have come back from basically being dead and you don't see that a lot you don't usually a 10 game losing streak is pretty much a death sentence in the NHL because the league is so tight and you have to climb over so many teams to get back up in the standings but Philly's found a way to do it and kudos to them for that so I'm sorry I counted you out Philly I was wrong you guys uh, really really turned things around and deserve to be in the playoffs which you're probably going to be just uh, we'll see if they can win in the playoffs but even even if they lose in the first round it's they did a fantastic job just to make it so way to go way to go flyers um thanks for watching like comment share subscribe uh, more videos coming soon uh like on social media links are in the description uh thank you guys so much and talk to you soon